Nothing, I mean nothing, would possess me to step into that swamp. As soon as I stooped to investigate the hole, its inhabitant disappeared into the darkness. The creature disappeared again, but I caught a glimpse of something small and furry. The end of the reed was too narrow for the dart to fit into. The end of the reed had been neatly bitten off. Now I knew what was living in there. A long-toothed, snarling, furry wild thing. The dart fitted snugly into the reed. Great. I was tooled up and dangerous. jumped, I could just about reach the branch. The path was blocked by an ugly and extremely dangerous looking boar. No good. I'd have to be bitten by a radioactive spider before I stood any chance of getting up there. The creeper just came away from the rock as I pulled it. The net attached easily enough to the creeper and seemed secure. Great. I'd created some sort of creeper marker fishing net assembly. Sometimes I terrify myself with my creative genius. I'd successfully got the marker into a position near the top of the needle simply by using the kind of lateral thinking that can get you institutionalized. 
Hold on. I've been here before. Haven't I? Initials carved into the stone read F.K. Frederick Ketch had been here. Joining the dots would make an equilateral triangle. The hill I was on had reminded me of a camel's hump as I'd climbed up it. Now I had to see what I could see. It was a good cave for hiding treasure in. Shame about the flooding problem. A needle rock. Eye of the needle? Heck, Ketch could have hidden his treasure anywhere. This island's full of hiding places. It was the marker which I had raised up the needle of rock. I could see the marker I had fastened on the rock down in the forest, and right in line with it, the rock I was looking for. Mm -hmm. 